Hey folks, Jimmy here, aka Palette of the Dead. Welcome back to the channel and welcome back to a Mortal Realms painting video. As always with all of these videos, if you like them, please hit the like button, subscribe to the channel and drop a comment down below. It's always greatly appreciated it. Appreciated. Um, and with this one, of course, we are painting that Lord Arcanum that on Griff Charger that we got only a few issues of Mortal Realms ago. Um, and this is just how I went about getting the paint job that I've done and yeah have fun with it there is a step missing before we jump into this though and that is the first step which is over a body of corax white i used griff charger gray to get the gray kind of lower half of the griff charger painted up don't know what happened to that footage um but it is completely missing so it is literally picking up straight after that section was done so to paint up all the plumage around the neck and everything like that i'm using Good old trusty Blood Angels Red. A fantastic paint, it works very, very well over white. Uh, it can work pretty well over gray, but it looks a bit more dull and a bit more neutral. Um, but over white, you get a lot of detail. Uh, if you wanna get it a bit darker, paint over two coats. Quite simple, um, but otherwise you should only need one. And then for the beak, what I'm using is I'm using Yand and Yellow. Um, it works perfectly well, it gives it that light orange tint, gives it that kind of nice colour that a beak probably should be, and yeah, it's not too bad. And then we're painting up all, starting on some of the metallic work, uh, using good old Retributor armour for the kind of the, that plate armour bit on the chest of a Griff Charger, and of course for the Stormcast armour as well. It works very well for Sigmarite, of course. And then using Reichland Flesh Shade to shade over it to get all that depth and detail that I wanted in the model. And then dry brush over, Retributor Armour back over just to pick out all them highlighted raised edges and it works very very well looks very very nice and then all i'm doing here is i'm painting up things like the horns of a griff charge of a talon and of course them um, hooves on the back foot which you're using the wraith bone for that because it works very, very well with the next contrast paint that we're going to use. And then going over the metal wall, all that wraith bone is waiting to dry. I'm using iron breaker over that, that scale mail plate on the sides of a griff charger. Works very, very well, looks very, very nice. Then once all that is dry, no oil, no oil, the greatest kind of wash that you can get of a shade for the kings for making slightly grimier metal um, and making anything a bit duller and a bit grimier. It's, yeah, you can't say, you can't have enough no oil in all honesty. Um, yeah, even when your pot's running low, you're going to need some more at some point. And then over all that Wraith Bone, I'm using Skeleton Horde Contrast Paint. Uh, as you can see, I've done some extra little details. So I've tried to do red feathers on the side, which is just use a dry brush uh, and the fest on red for that, in all honesty. And it worked not too bad, but I wasn't entirely happy with it. When the Skeleton Horde dries, of course, it's gonna look very, very nice, very, very dark, uh, and looks exactly like Bone should, really. And then dry brush over, uh, good old Stormhouse Silver, oh, back over all that metal work on the side plates, all that scale mail, uh, and it works very, very nicely. It does do wonders for that paint job. And then 
it's time to start painting up that cloaking area and everything like that using Nagaroth Knight for that. Gives it that deep purple look uh, that is perfect for the Lions of Sigmar. Then using Retributor Armour, I'm just adding some little detail flourishes onto the symboling and everything like that on the armour for the Griff Charger as well. As well as using some Stormhost Silver on some certain areas which will make it um, give it a very good look with what we're going to do in a few steps time. Then I'm using Corn Red as a base coat for the other kind of cloth colours and stuff like that and parts of them robes that are hanging from the arms of the Lord Arcanum himself as well. Uh, works very very well, it looks quite nice, uh, it gives it a decent colour and breaks up all that monotone colour as well, although you can't quite see what's going on because I moved it off shot. And then after a wash of Reitland Flesh Aid and a going over with going back over with corn red to highlight and pick out all them areas as well back to it as you can see what I've used is flash gets yellow on them feathers as well which kind of changes the tone of those as well and unfortunately that is not in focus uh, but I'm using good old one of the reds that you can get one of the good old gem reds that you used to be able to get from games workshop it's an older paint job and it was like a gel but you can use blood angels red if you wish to instead and of course i'm using good old zurius purple back over certain areas of cloth missing out all them deep recessed areas as well because uh, it works very very well and that's it pretty much uh, so the only other things that i've done is i've gone back over the edge of certain parts of cloth with jeans dealer purple i've used dryad bark for some of the brown work some of the leather work and the leather straps and everything like that um and stuff like that as well so um not the most kind of in-depth video but you can kind of see where you're getting at with a lot of everything as well on there um use apothecary white to kind of shade up that white cloak and everything like that uh, and you're in a good position in all honesty um, the model is completely tabletop ready um, yeah it's not too bad if you want to make it even better than tabletop ready you just need to add a lot more kind of edge highlights uh, around parts of a model uh, and neaten up certain areas as well um, and maybe add some different highlights to certain areas like the talons uh, and the feather areas as well and you'll all be good right Thank you very very much for watching as I say it's not the most in-depth kind of uh, painting video that I probably could have done because there are some steps missing that I haven't done um, or I just have recorded off kind of done off camera and everything like that um, yeah thank you very much for watching and I'll catch you next time bye bye now